Two, welcome back to the channel. We uh, finally have time to commentate this. It is a very impressive submission for 100% X7 exploration and more. And so we're going to just jump right in. And we're doing this live in style with the mayo jar. And we are starting. Okay, so I want to ask this question. If all, th let's just say it was Sig 200, rank three, Ultron or Warlock. Who would you take to rank four with this tech gem? Ultron or Warlock. Also, we are calling Mama in the middle of this video. Enjoy the Skype music. Mama, we're recording this, and I'm so shocked. It's like 50-50. Who would you take to rank for first SIG 200, Ultron or Warlock? Oh, God. Whoa. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think just because I have a love of this particular champion, Warlock. I would go with Warlock. Yeah. Well, I got. I thought it would be like 80-20 Warlock. It's more like 55-45 Warlock. Yeah, I mean, Ultron is freaking phenomenal now. Yeah. Um, Ryan but, would go Nebula. Shout out to Ryan. Uh, well, you know, Nebula is not that bad. <laughs> but, I mean, she's no Warlock or Ultron. Honestly, I mean, that's, that's really hard. Internet praises. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Now you're just making Joel happy. <laughs> and probably DRC. All right, so we're going to jump straight to this Nexus as we debate this. Oh, no! This is the worst cosmic Nexus crystal I have ever seen. You know it's sponsored by Clorox Bleach when Groot pops out first. Oh. Groot awakening the University of Phoenix or... A Nihilus. Oh, Lord, that's horrendous. That's what I'm saying. I have never seen something so bad. I mean, I guess the lesser of all three evils is probably a Nihilus, but when are you ever going to use him? You know what? I'm going to choose Groot for the memes and for the hope of him actually getting a buff. But this is so... This is blinding my eyes. Honestly, Ben commented this is worse than, his worst nightmare. <laughs> I mean... C considering how many good cosmic champions there are in the game, and these are the three that it gives you, right? You couldn't get Hyperion or Corvus or Cosmic I mean, Ghost Rider, no, right? Captain Sparkles, so many good ones. Well, he went with Annihilus, y'all. It can, oh, yeah, Hercules is in here, uh, yeah. All right, it can't get any worse than that. This is another example I can guarantee you that the basic are going to be way better than the class. So when people get excited about class-based Nexus, don't automatically get excited. You could still be disappointed. I hate dual class crystals. Another example, he got a better cosmic option in the regular than the class. He awakened his Hoden or America Chavez or Masacre. Both are already awakened. So, again, Hoden is hoeing around with his long sword. Gotta go with Hoden. Hose knows. We know why the hose nose lost his eye patch. <laughs> he got poked in the eye. He did. It was the 60s. Things just happened. <laughs> All right. That's so funny that the, his first basic is a cosmic. Like, that's, that's crazy. All right. Let's see if he gets the first bit of amazing luck in Nexus number three, basic Nexus number two. And, I mean, Green Goblin knew Awaken Black Bolt or Awaken Howard, the no longer suck. Um, I guess I'd go Howard, you know? I'd either do Howard or Green Goblin. Ryan, I mean, at least you get a new champ. Ryan once again says this is an opening sponsored by the poop emoji. Um... Ryan is also asking to re-roll these. Y'all, I have to say, I hope that this, this opening ends with better luck because collectively this is the worst I've ever seen. 
I, I don't. I feel bad for this person. I do too. I do too. All right. Well, even though a lot of you have uh, talked in the comments about nothing but being kabammed, we're going back to the well. This is our next nexus. Oh, Rhino appears, and then he's already got Awakened Venom Pool and Awakened Kingpin. Oh, Kingpin. I would do Kingpin, without a doubt. I don't know if you'd actually do Kingpin, but... Uh, no, but I would pick Kingpin out of that trio. We've got some votes on Rhino. Because he's new. I hate Rhino. Kingpin sings... Kingpin's actually good now. Yeah. Well, and SIGs do help him. I think the majority of people, even though it's not a complete like 80-20, are choosing Kingpin SIGs. Let's see if he chooses Mr. Horny and said, He went with the horny man! All you that commented Kingpin. <laughs> DRC said, There's no way I'm ever going to pick Rhino. Well, DRC, just look at that guy. Why? Why would you pick Rhino over <laughs> Kingpin? Oh, man. This is a crazy opening. Okay, next one. Uh-oh, he's got New Jersey, The Hood. Killmonger Awakened or The Hood Awakened. Or it is almost impossible to go this long without a amazing Beyond God tier champion in Nexus. This is statistically almost an impossible Nexus for all the wrong reasons. Uh, now you we know have... who I'm picking. Are you going to pick Killmonger? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, I think Killmonger is still getting the majority of the votes. But this is, this is the ugliest we've seen. Again, I'm... Um, I'm very surprised at how bad this is. Yeah, it's sad. All right, let's see. Somewhat, for those of you who chose the hood, you were off again in this game we call live commentary reactions. <laughs> All right, here we go. Last one. Give him some CEO luck, finally. <laughs> Karnak immediately appears. I mean, again, Nova's fine. He's already awakened his Prox Midnight. I guess Karnak's been buffed. But you're telling me in six Nexus Crystals... There are zero beyond God tier champs or even God tier champs? That's sad. Zero. That's almost Perfect. statistically impossible. Would you quit the game if this happened to you, YouTube? Comment below. Let me see it. I mean, I wouldn't quit the game, but I would be tossing my phone out the window. <laughs> DRC just says, Kabam hates this dude. <laughs> um, uh, Inspector Dread, this isn't a good example of why Nexus can be overrated, no doubt. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of Nexus Crystals, to be honest with you. But they scare me. Look at this. Look at this. Hoden, Killmonger, Green Goblin, Rhino, and Karnak. That's not why you explore Act 7. That's why you get a colonoscopy. <laughs> DRC now says that the guy must have stolen Kabam Mike's girlfriend. DRC, I think that's going to make a great title for this video. This guy must have stolen Kabam Mike's girlfriend. Yeah. That's got to be that's got to be a title. All right. So, he is now going to the well of six star featured crystals to end it. And you know, he's got to drink these things in because they are okay. They are terrible. Look at the look. He just popped five, mama. He got Kitty Pride new and then dupes of Punisher 29, Wasp, but Ghost Rider and no Wow. He just kicked Kabam Mike's girlfriend out of the house and said, Go back to Kabam Mike. I don't need you. I've got Kitty Pride. Go back Pride. to New Jersey. Go back to New Jersey. Or maybe he just proposed to Kabam Mike's girlfriend and said, Now you're with me forever. Get away from that <laughs> loser. What a, what a random am amount of emotions for this opening, right? For the highest of highs... Now, after the lowest of lows, this is why we talk about the roller coaster of Cascam. Cascam. Yeah. All right, and by the way, he still has one hundred ninety thousand six star shards worth of additional features. I guess to awaken Kitty, maybe to get Nimrod. I don't know. This is a wild opening. All right, he just opened what five. And now, he's got 10 more. All right, he's going to get anything. And he's popping this batch of 10, Mama, like a boss. Popping 10 featured six-star crystals. Okay. 
Too new, and he just awakened his kitty pride. He got four Punisher 2099s. Get out of here. A 40% drop rate? That's wild. Black Widow, what Clairvoyant. Been I don't know, but this guy is a big baller. There ain't no doubt. Oh, he got two Anti Venoms and Nimrod new. I mean, he basically has everybody in this crystal, right? And he Pretty awakened much. his Black Widow uh, clairvoyant from this. How crazy is it to see four Punisher 29? If any of you are convinced that Punisher 29 isn't just like dropped in these more than others, just, just remember this video. Right. All right. He's got two more? Yeah. So this would be 17 featured six star crystals. Am I getting that math right? 17 features. I don't even know why he's still going for this. Maybe he wants to awaken his Nimrod. I don't know. And there's another anti venom. Wow. This dude's getting. I hope you like the anti venom. This, this dude's getting all the featured luck after getting all of the Nexus suck. <laughs> All right, last one's going to be a troll roll from Noel de Cersei, who he did not get. Now, he never got a high period, which which supports the Wafflers. One out of 100, unfortunate luck data. Um, wow. Y'all, I think he stole Kabam Mike's girlfriend, which is why he got such bad luck. But then he proposed to her. And got the featured six star luck. We have just made up fan fiction like you won't see on any other YouTube channel. That's why you subscribe to this channel, especially when a jar of mayonnaise is telling you this. <laughs> That's right. All right, if you're watching this live, stay tuned. We're still not done. And uh, otherwise, have a good one. Good night.